Question four, we've got a list of one to ten of various people, Sam, Janelle, uh, how, how are you, Alfie, Cyrus, Kamal, Polly, David, Tom and Lydia. And we are asked the following, we are told a binary search is to be performed on the names to locate Lydia. Use uh, an appropriate algorithm to rearrange the list so that binary search can be performed, showing the state of the list after each complete iteration. State the name of the algorithm. Okay, now you all know a binary search can only happen if the names are in alphabetical order. So the first thing we're going to do is use an algorithm to make them in alphabetical order. I like a bubble sort, so I'm going to use a bubble sort. But you could also use a quick sort. So I'm going to use a bubble sort for these here. So for part A, we must state the algorithm we're using. So let's say, straight away, get the mark for the bubble sort. Okay, and I'm putting them in alphabetical order, so they have to uh, A first and it's going to Z. I always do it like that to remind me how I want them. Okay, so uh, what's first in the alphabet out of these two? Well, J, so I'm going to move that and put J there. What's first out of these two? Well, H, so H goes there. What's first out of A and S? Well, A, so A goes there. Uh, S and C? Well, it would be C. S and K? Well, it would be K. S and P? Well, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S. P is before S, so P goes there. D is before S, so D goes there. Now, S is before T, so S stays here. And now we're comparing T and L, and L is clearly before T. Okay? And so what we've done, I always put a line after it, just to remind myself that T has been shoved to the end. That's how a bubble sort works. Here's past one. T uh, moved itself all the way to the end. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another um, bubble sort now. And so we're going to do the next stage. What's first out of H and J? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So H is before that, so I'm going to put H there. Before J and A, well, A is first. Between J and C, well, C is first. Between J and K, well, obviously, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. J is first. So K and P, K is before P. P and D, D is before P, P and S, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, P, Q, R, S. So P is before S, S and L, well, L would be before S, and S gets shoved second to the back, like that. So we're going to have our S and our T, both of them shoved to the back. Okay, what's first out of these two? Well, A is. What's first out of H and C? Well, C is. What's first out of H and J? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So H is. Uh, J, K, they're in the right order. What's first out of K and D? Well, D is. What's first out of K and P? K is. What about P and L? Well, L is. L, M, N, O, P. So P has been shoved to the back here with S and T as follows. Okay, next. What's first out of these two? Well, A stays there. C will stay here. H and J, uh, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J. So this is uh, sorted here. So H next. Um, D will go before J, uh, J, K, J is before K, uh, A, B, C, D, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. So K and L are, are uh, fixed in the right place there. So L has been uh, shoved to the back, as it were, and we've got P, S, and T. Okay, what's first out of the A? What's first out of these? C. What's first out of these? D. What's first out of these? H, I, J. So H is... And we knew that J and K were fixed like that. Okay, and we've got to do one more just to check these are in order. A and C, they're fine. C and D, they're fine. D and H, they're fine. H and um, J, they're fine. And now we know we have a sorted list. So we just say um, list is sorted. Okay. We've got them uh, there and we've stated our algorithm for four. Now we're asked to use the binary search algorithm to locate Lydia from the list you obtained in A. You must make your method clear. So we're going to use the ordered list now. So for part B, I'm going to write these out. So I'm going to write A, C, D, H, J, K, L, P, S and T. Okay, and with a binary, you must have numbers in front of them because the computer recognizes the numbers. So above them, I'm going to have one, two, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our various pivots. So firstly, pivot one. So pivot one. We do the first of the last, so we do one add ten divided by two, which is equal to the five point fifth, which is the sixth person. Now the sixth person is K, so K, we are looking for L, not L, so we write K, not L, so because they're in order, you know to ignore 1 to 6. Okay, so we're going to ignore 1 to 6. I like to put a little line after it here just to remind myself that I'm now dealing with these. Now we're going to do pivot 2. We've got 7 to 10 left, so we're going to do 7 add 10 divided by 2. Now 17 um, divided by 2 is 8.5, which is telling us it's the ninth one. Now the ninth one is S, not L, which is what we're after, so we're going to ignore S and everything after it, so 9 and 10. So we're going to ignore these two. So we're just with these now. So pivot 3, we're going to do 7 add 8 divided by 2, which is 7.5, which is the eighth person, the eighth is P, not L, so ignore eight. And lastly, and the fourth pivot is going to be where we find it. So pivot four, I always just write seven and seven over two, which is clearly the seventh, and we write L is located. Now check L is actually what you're looking for. Um, L was Lydia, and they did ask us to associate uh, to find Lydia. Sometimes they might ask us to find Lionel, and it's not even in the list, so just be careful there. So that's it. We're done for our eight marks.